The Invaders Radio Online Music Show is a music show I do using YouTube during Fox News broadcasts such as Special Report, Primetime, and Fox News at Night. I do it as the segments are going along to allow the viewers to know that I'm tuning in while I'm tuning in with actually not having to write it down. The radio show has actually changed the way I've been thinking about my work because I would like to get back into music versus news because even if I were to have gotten back into news and work at a newspaper and produce the news that I wanted, I would have probably not been able to get my voice out as effectively as I was able to do it on Jamestown Caliph on Twitter and when I want to do it on WordPress. I used to get 4,000 visitors a day on jamestowncaliph.com and what's happening is just like in those days, they're attacking our employment. It was never about COVID this entire fiasco in my opinion and what I'm going to report I'm not really allowed to talk about that subject because what YouTube's done in censoring my videos has totally messed up what I want to do using YouTube I can always go on another channel but like you guys said you guys can allow the ones to go viral when you want but when I'm only getting two views and you're all picking my colors, it's obvious that my videos are not going to go viral using your network or trying to let you guys get the information first because I get the information first, number one. Number two, Donald Trump slowing down testing and admitting it to his team is a very important part of last year's national emergency. And I want to talk about it one more time. Since now the administration's attacking our work, going through the Department of Labor and forcing us to get vaccinated when the whole thing was in the initially to get tested and then record that test. And those that were positive would know if they would or would not need to continue the medical treatment. And what's happened is it never was about COVID, in my opinion. This is all about the three branches of government. And the video that I did yesterday about the idea to save the Republic. Now, Brett, I noticed that your book is Rescue the Republic. I'm still going to ask you permission to use that idea because I'm using it to save the Republic. But as I'm investigating my own book, I've actually been able to discover answers to why the administrations made the latest moves. And I'm not sure if you guys are able to do that. I want to also say that Chris Wallace and his new book is just absolutely makes me sick. It makes me sick because if the person was actually had a chance to apprehend and take him to New York for trial, why would you just shoot him in the back and then dump him in the ocean and then write about it. I would have to compare Chris Wallace's book to Joel Olstein buying a brand new Lamborghini using church contribution funds. That's just absolutely one of the things I want to also say is you guys have the ability to pick any song you want during your breaks. And whoever picked that Madonna song, the absolute worst of the worst songs, and then to pinpoint it at bourgeoisie while we're viewing was just totally low class. And it just it just makes me wonder, are you guys in the news snots? Or you guys really want the help that you guys seem to need? Because you need help. Look, Bill's at the border right now on a helicopter. He's a Los Angeles broadcaster. He should not be down there doing these reports. He should be doing something better and pay triple what he's getting. And you guys have him up there. The reason why this crisis continues at the Texas crossings is because your news organization just doesn't seem to be making a difference in news at all. I've asked you guys to cover the Syria campaign. You won't cover it, but you're wearing lavender. It's just pitiful. Now, I could sit there and say the nice things and not the nice things. And that bourgeois really uh, bothered me because you guys did really good this week on Tuesday. 
and on Thursday with the news. The antibodies report is a very important report and it is obvious that someone is tuning into my YouTube videos and even maybe the one censored and took off that one particular video that I had hoped you guys downloaded because it did have information about Afghanistan and by taking that video down with what occurred I'm very suspicious about idea sharing and it doesn't de defeat the purpose of me wanting to do news I do the music show for you guys to know that I'm tuning in and to be entertained but also to look for songs and I want to continue my career in DJing in some form I also want to say that on September 10th, 2001, it was a Monday night, I made $620 that night. Everyone and their mom was walking up to the DJ booth giving me money that night. And I've never made that much money on a Monday night since that night in work. That was the first time my labor was attacked. And they're attacking it again by these mandates with our employers. It's one reason why people don't want to come back to the workforce. And it's just, if you guys had the test, you would know whether to mandate. And it's, in my opinion, it's an attack. The branches of government are colliding. And I'm going to ask for a contribution and want to continue my project. I have a publisher that's going to help me publish my book. It's going to cost me $3,000. So if 30 people could put together a $100 tip for the music show, I'd appreciate it. You could send it to Michael Jameson, J-A-M-E-S-O-N, P.O. Box 2941, Fullerton, California, 92837. And the title of the publication I haven't actually put it down officially because I don't want no one to take the idea but it's the book is going to be my last news book that I'm going to write because I'm moving on to science fiction because in my opinion this science fiction that no one's addressing has something to do with what's been occurring the last two years and the neglect of the news media and yesterday Don Lemon calling people stupid while the news media and CNN itself I've exposed is stupid. And no one's wanted to help me republish the State of the Union, Socialist America, the media versus the media, because the media versus the media is actually happening yesterday. So that's fine. You know, not getting the credit for that project is one thing, but the credit for the next project, it's going to be up to you whether I want to continue doing news because I'm more interested in doing sports and entertainment and I'm very effective in news. Obviously, you guys aren't effective enough having 9,000 people at the border and it just seems to get worse and worse, including Jesse's comment about the travel agent. And also, Morgan, your comment a few months ago saying that we could do whatever we want and don't even have to listen, partook in some of those events. So you guys also do the Don Lemon at times. That's why I like Special Report because I don't think I've ever seen him do the Don Lemon. And I'm not sure if he'd be happy about the DJ whoever put that bourgeoisie and Madonna song during a commercial break while a viewer has been entertaining you guys with music selections for the last two years and also those top five songs i think i've played one out of the top five but i personally don't like the other four and i could have played them for my show but i just didn't want to i want to start off by thanking you guys wearing the colors and that was very cool the orange the light blue and janice dean the hot pink you're the winner mostly because i wanted to put a smile on your face because you were in and out of the hospital and doctor's office for the MS, I believe. So I wanted to put a smile on your face. And I just hope no one else was jealous about that. So I would appreciate you guys showing up to work on Monday first thing. I'm going to tune out until Monday or Tuesday. And I'd like to thank you all for tuning into my radio show. And I also want to say that I pick my own songs. When Lee Zeldin's up there, I will pick Led Zeppelin. But most of the time I'm picking my own songs. You guys are helping me. But when Dana Lash was up there and I picked We Got the Beat, 
I'm not trying to make fun of you people up there. I got the feeling that you are making fun of me with the bourgeoisie that I'm poor, you're rich, you're snotty, I'm not snotty, I'm working hard. But remember, I got Dodger baseball at the end of the night. We're going for the World Series. We're only one game from first place. And since I've taken over that assignment personally, the Dodgers are pretty successful. I believe we've only lost two or three games out of 15. I'm going to check my stats. Charlie Steiner, Rick Monday, Dwayne McDonald. That's AM570. Also, Tim Neverett Lloyd, as in Tim Everett Lloyd. So we're going to go and do our next segment. We're doing Fox Live from Texas. The administration won't even allow drones above Texas crossings while they're asking people to mandate. It's just a double standard. And like I said, according to the press secretary, it never was about COVID. It never was about children. It never was about it. Only we're going to get as many people as we have to to get the boost or whatever. No. My personal recommendation is this. We need to add more doctors and hospitals to this mix instead of having everything state doctors. And Gavin Newsom did not build any hospitals in Los Angeles last year. And I asked the press, well, how many did he actually build while the hospitals are jammed with patients? And the answer was zero. So he was not recalled, but the job performance that he did sucked. And also the voter intimidation by doing the Don Lemon, accusing voters of being Trump supporters or else, labeling voters, scaring voters, I think is a ground for impeachment. And Neil, Neil Neely, the, um, I'm going to talk to you about that on my next take on YouTube.com, Jamestown, California.